Hey y'all, it's Rosie from iHeartRecipes.com and I'm going to show you how I make my rice dressing. I love rice dressing y'all. It is very similar to dirty rice, however I use different ingredients and you know, it's not dirty rice in my opinion. Some people are going to say, girl that's dirty rice, but I call this rice dressing. So what you're going to need is some rice. Now you can use minute rice, you can use regular rice, it depends on you. I just suggest that you cook it at least three hours in advance and let it cool in the refrigerator. I actually made this uh, early this morning and it's been chilling in the fridge since. We want to not cook the rice right before you make the dish, otherwise it may be a little too mushy. You want the rice nice and green. You want to hold up while you're cooking, okay? So yeah, we have the rice. I almost got started without, without y'all, so I started chopping things up, but I caught myself. So I have green bell pepper, red bell pepper, I have onion over there where you can't see it, but we're going to be using onion, and I also have celery. So the first thing we're going to do, as you see I have my pan here, we are actually going to fry up a couple things. You'll need chicken gizzards and chicken livers. If you're not a fan of either, this may not be the recipe for you. But so what I'm going to do is grab some oil, drizzle it in the pan, and let's just do it. Let me just show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my oil from my mister because I can't find the actual large bottle right now. And I'm just using, um, this is just peanut oil. You can use canola oil, you can use corn oil, you can use whatever oil you want to use. Just make sure that it has a high smoking point, okay? Let's get that oil nice and hot. I'm going to turn the heat to medium. So the oil should be nice and hot. What we're going to do is add in the gizzard first. I think I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit because I'm not a fan of getting hot. Okay, so while the gizzards are cooking, I'm going to chop up our bell pepper and onion and celery. A lot of people call this dirty rice, but I um, call it rice dressing. I have so many different dirty rice recipes that I think my authentic dirty rice is a lot more spicy and this is actually mild how i'm going to make it today will be mild that's what i should say and you don't you don't want to forget while you're chopping to come over here make sure everything is cooking like it's supposed to be i know gizzards are not the most attractive things to cook but it is needed for this dish so Oh, and prior to adding the gizzards in here, I forgot to say that I did sprinkle it with a little bit of kosher salt and white pepper. So we did season it. So, I'm going to remove these gizzards from the pan here. I'm going to set them to the side. And next we'll be cooking the livers. chicken lizard lizards livers <laughs> out of the pan so let's go ahead and add that in there just gonna give everything a nice stir and I'm gonna try to do this without knocking everything off so what I'm going to do now is chop up the livers and uh, gizzards Okay, so now we are going to start adding our livers and gizzards to the mixture. And we're also going to add in some chopped chicken. Make sure everything is well combined. And now we are going to add in a little bit of chicken broth. I swear it's a lot less than it looks. Now I'm going to start adding in some Creole seasoning. You can use whatever 
pre all seasoning that you want to use, I'm going to use the Tony Chat Trees. I think is how you say it. As long as I've been using so I still don't know if I'm saying the name right. Okay, so now we are going to grab our rice and we are going to start adding it into the pan with the other ingredients. And remember, we made the rice beforehand. All right, so what I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of garlic powder because I was supposed to add it when I added my Creole seasoning, but I forgot. But it's better late than never. And of course, the exact measurements can be found on my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. You can print out the measurements from there. And now we're just going to mix everything until well combined. And we'll let this cook for a couple more minutes. And then it's all done. All right, so it is all done. I turned off the heat and now I am ready to serve. Now, don't forget, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you do so. Turn on those notifications so that you know whenever I upload a new video. And also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And of course, my recipes can be found on iHeartRecipes.com.